Hey everybody, hey it's all seven here. Welcome to the night show. <laughs> I just got done watching this video that is just so illogical and it's so stupid. <laughs> okay, let me just say this. You have this black family. Okay, so supposedly this guy from the city comes and tells them apparently barbecue smokes leaving their property. And there's this lady across the street that, that has nothing much to do but complain. And then the guy tells them they have to keep the barbecue smoke on their property. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that is illogical. Even if they were to buy something to help contain the smoke, the smoke still leaves their property. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense at all. And apparently for three years, here's a the woman, woman had, ever since she moved there, had been harassing them. They called, she called the police multiple times. I'm pretty sure for most of the time, it was no reason at all. And the fire department came there one time and all she's doing is just complaining about the barbecue smoke. And then this guy who apparently is from, I'm guessing he's from City Hall, comes over and tells them to keep it on their property. <laughs> and also the guys in the video were laughing as well. Okay, I could see a few things wrong with this. For one, for one, what is wrong, wrong with that? That is stupid. Like, I could understand if they were like burning, like, like let's just say gas, plastic, plastic, or just stuff that's illegal to be burning. That's one thing. But barbecue smoke, that is just idiotic in so many ways. <laughs> it's actually kind of, it's pretty funny. I'll, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description below. It's, and, and I have, and I have a personal theory that that guy was not from City Hall at all. That woman probably paid him, and this is just a theory, theory, so, but it's the most, but it's the most logical out of all the theory. Okay, for one thing, he did not have a car with him. That's one sign. If he did, and parked it somewhere else for some unknown reason reason and why would you do that and it didn't look like he had a car he had a walkie talkie right with him right there and how far is he there from dispatch that is not the kind of walkie talkie Augie, that that can go that can go that far if it can that's that's another thing But, but to conclude it all, all, I don't even think, no one would say, would go up and tell him something like that. They would have had to have been paid to say something like that. It's so, it's, it's so dumb. So dumb. <laughs> Over barbecue smoke. <laughs> Man, that's so stupid, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Trust me, the whole time I was just laughing because what the guy was saying was totally inaccurate. That's ridiculous. And the and for what the guy was saying, saying. I don't even think he was part of, of what they said he was at all. <laughs> you see a connection here? Yet again, it's black people. They're getting harassed. That's one. They have some... They have some guy, whether he would, he's professional or what he says he is or not, coming up and telling him weird crap. You see a connection here? 
You see a connection here? I'm pretty sure that that that, that, that guy is a friend of the woman's and that that she that she made him a deal or paid him to to go over there and say something like that. I think something like that. I'm pretty sure. Because because if he were from City Hall, he wouldn't have come. And also that lady about her, she needs to get a life. I mean I'm serious. Seriously, if you have got nothing to do but complain, then you obviously have no life. I've, most of the time, so... Anyhow... <laughs> Alright, this is... This is the end. End of tonight's night show. So, good night, everybody.